What's up guys, welcome to a new video. I'm at Tuel, I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, Tuel, Tueli, Utah at an army depot. So an army base picking up a container. It's a 20 foot container and it's gonna be going to Indiana. Let me get this all chained down, strapped down, and then I'll give you guys details after. guys we got to get on top of the container put some corner protectors for the straps Alright guys, I got the container all secured. I used two chains. Got a chain here. And I also used two straps just for extra securement. But the chains do the majority of the holding. It's a 4,400 pound container, it's 20 feet long. So not too heavy. I've got another load lined up um, out of Grand Junction, Colorado. It's supposed to be picking up a skid steer. I am hoping my dispatcher can find something different because uh, I'll be super heavy with both of these things. And going through Colorado with all those mountains, that's gonna be hard. A lot of stress on the truck. You guys, check out all this ammo here. These are bombs of some kind. Pretty neat. Alright guys, picking up my second load. A little skid steer right here. Ten and a half thousand pounds.
what's up guys it's Sunday I am on my 34 hour reset I am on my way to Indiana to drop off that load the container and the excavator that I picked up so I stopped off in St. Louis to visit my parents on the way and doing my reset here so I didn't give you the numbers for those uh, uh, for that load that I picked up the container pays $2,500 and the excavator pays $1,400 so that is $3,900 for both of those. And uh, with all my deadhead to go pick up the loads from where I was, it's $1,800. So that comes out to $2.16 per mile, which sounds decent, but it's not that great because that container is uh, very tall and the excavator is very heavy so I'm tall and super heavy so I've been getting really bad gas mileage I've been getting about six miles per gallon but you know uh, with this type of market you got to take it even if it's paying decent even if you're gonna have worse gas mileage than usual you still got to take it better than sitting around so right now guys I am uh, in St. Louis, I am going to go check out a popular donut place in St. Louis, which is my favorite stuff to do on my resets. Going to a place called Vincent Van Donut. They've got pretty nice gourmet donuts. Let's go check it out. Vincent Van Donut. Cookies and cream, blueberry cheesecake, maple and bacon, apple crumb cheesecake, and a chocolate and coffee. Let's give them all a try. Alright guys, first one, French toast. Cookies and cream. Very good. Nice blueberry cheesecake. So far the least favorite. Got an apple cheesecake. That's pretty good. And of course you can't go without maple and bacon. Good as you know. Alright guys, I'm gonna enjoy these and I'll see you in a little bit. Ok 
Yeah, I just finished the donuts. Uh, that place was amazing. This is my second time visiting this place in St. Louis. I believe this is the best donut place in St. Louis. Uh, this is the only place that I could find that has gourmet, presentable looking donuts. Everybody else just has plain, plain looking donuts. And those are kind of boring. So the plan is to let the food digest a little bit and then hit the gym and then maybe go check out another food place. We'll see how the day goes. I'll see you guys shortly. Guys, just got done with my workout. Time to go hit up some food places. I'm feeling like Panda Express, some teriyaki chicken. I got steamed rice, vegetables, double teriyaki chicken. This is probably the healthiest fast food food that you can get. Guys, I'm eating in the truck. I just didn't feel like sitting inside Panda Express because it's uh, kind of dark inside there. So hopefully the video comes out better in the truck. Hopefully there's more lighting. When I want the healthier type of fast food, Panda Express is my number one choice. Because this is uh, this is grilled teriyaki chicken. It's not the best part of the chicken. Like this is the the thigh, so it's a little bit more fatty, but it's 
still healthier than deep fried. Of course, healthy after my donuts. Oh well. This is what I was craving. So tomorrow, guys, I've got about a almost a four hour drive to drop off my first load in Indiana. And then uh, I think it's about 20 or 30 minutes to drop off the second load. They're pretty close to each other. So I gotta start the day early. If you guys ever wanna see certain things in my videos, comment down below because I hope I'm showing you the content that you guys are interested in. I don't know if the food interests you guys. It's something different besides work. So I don't know if it's very interesting or not. If you guys don't like it, let me know as well. Maybe I'll change up my videos and uh, put something different in it or just keep it strictly work related. Let me know guys. So I'm done with the late lunch Panda Express. Now I'm heading over to Walmart. I got to buy some food and do my meal prepping for next week. This is uh, actually the most boring part of the job. <laughs> meal prepping. But it's got to be done. Got to eat healthy. What's up guys? I am near my first drop. I had to pull over on the side of the road because I cannot find the house where this guy lives to drop off that skid steer. So I'm waiting for him to pull up and uh, give me some directions. So I'll, I'll be following him. These uh, little roads are a little bit confusing and the GPS, none of my GPS is not Google Maps or my trucking GPS are bringing me to the correct location. So waiting for him to show up and uh, give me some directions. All right guys, dropping off the skid steer. Okay. No problem. Right, guys that excavator skid steer is dropped off so I've got uh, just the container left going to the army base about uh, 25 minutes away from where I am now you gotta be there by three it should be good let's hit the road guys I just dropped off the container it's an army place with uh, ammunition here so they don't allow recording I couldn't sneak the camera around them so I can record. So unfortunately, no footage of uh, the drop off, but I dropped it off. Uh, I've got nothing right now, so I'm headed to truck stop and the waiting game begins. See you guys shortly. Good morning, everybody. I am in Indiana. It is Wednesday morning about 6.44 a.m. Just got a Starbucks coffee. Surprised there was one near the truck stop. I am uh, on my way to pick up a load from Indiana going to Newburgh, New York, which is uh, slightly less than an 800 mile drive. Uh, picking up some kind of a real trailer. Uh, it's supposed to be, I think a little bit over 20 feet long. And they said it's 8,000 pounds, but I think it actually weighs less and they're paying $2,400 for it, so which is really good. It's uh, coming out to about $3 per mile. So let's head on over. These guys open up at 7 a.m. Uh, see if I can get loaded quickly and hit the road. Just pulled up to the shipper. It's freaking cold as hell today. It's like in the 50s. Right, we 
we are all strapped down, chained down. I put one strap on it just to keep the tail down on the trailer. And I put four chains. Guys, so this load is going to conclude my week. Um, my first load was $3,900. This one is $2,400. That puts us at $6,300 for the week. Not great, not horrible. We're kind of in the middle. We're getting, we're steady staying around that price range in the six thousands per week. So hopefully um, business is picking up and going to stay that way and get better, of course. Uh, so this load here that I just picked up, the trailer, it's uh, 764 miles from, I'm around Indianapolis, Indiana, going to Newburgh, New York, 764 miles. So that pays um, roughly like $3.14 per mile, which is pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to end the video on this one. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the support from everybody. Uh, love your guys comments and my videos Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video